Good morning to all. This is Mubin Sultan, Department of Botany, Virasheva College, Ballari. Today we are going to discuss about anthaculture. So before going to start the topic, let us understand what is this anthaculture. So in the previous videos, we have studied about the callus culture, embryogenesis. So these all are a part of a tissue culture. So here the anther culture is also a type of a tissue culture technique. So these all techniques or procedures will be taken place in the in vitro condition. So before going to start the anther culture procedure, let, let us know what is this anther culture? What is the definition of anther culture? Anther culture is a type of tissue culture technique where a part of the plant that is anther gives rise to an androgenic haploid plants where when cultured in a nutrient media under a optimal conditions that are required for the growth of the cell. So already as you know that for any tissue culture technique we need a explant. So here in anther culture the anther will be used as a explant. So here we have to consider the anther as a explant. So overall 250 species of the plants among these 250 species the most common species belongs to the families of Graminaceae, Solanaceae, Ranunculaceae, Cruciferaceae etc. So among these families we can see the anther culture very easily. Before going to start the technique let us know what is this anther. So as we all know that anther is a part of flower which is bilobed sac like in structure. So in flower anther is a part of stamen which is a male reproductive part. So always stamen composed a long narrow or a stalk like filament which carries the anther at the tip. So at the tip of the anther it consists of microsporangia which produces pollen grains by the meiotic cell division. Next we will discuss about the history of the anther culture. So there are several discoveries that have led to the discover, discovery of producing haploid plantlets by the anther culture. Many scientists have contributed to know more of this technique by their experiments. So here there is a list of discoverers or the scientists who have made the experiments over the anther culture technique. So next we will move to the definition of anther culture. So anther culture is a method of androgenesis that is the production of haploid plantlets by the in vitro condition where the anther is separated from the bud and it is followed by sterilization and cultured in the nutrient media to give rise to a haploid plantlets. So we know that any tissue culture technique it requires an in vitro condition as well as the nutrient media. So same technique here anther culture also requires. So these anther culture have some objectives. The primary objective of the anther culture technique is to produce haploid androgenic plants by using the regeneration capacity or the totipotency of the anther. It means that the capacity of cell division in the anther can be checked, should be checked before it has to be taken for the anther culture process. So next we will move to the methods in anther culture. Method in the sense there are two types of anther culture. So before in the previous video also we have discussed about this tissue culture technique undergoes by two methods either by a direct or indirect. So same two methods are here also we will see in the anther culture. So here in the anther culture it is a plant tissue culture method which can be done by two methods either by direct or indirect method. The direct method of anther culture involves embryogenesis. In this method the anther behaves as a zygote and forms embryoid which gives rise to the haploid plantlet. Next we will move to the indirect method. So as you know that indirect method is nothing but the production of callus which is nothing but the organogenesis. So in this method the anther undergoes cell division repeatedly to form the callus tissue which later gives rise to the haploid plant lights. So this is about the definition or method of the anther culture. So after knowing the definition of anther culture let us study about the procedure of anther culture how the anther culture process can be done so here you can see in the diagrammatic representation all the steps which are required for the process of anther culture 
there are several steps involved in the anther culture method which includes first the selection of unopened buds of size about 17 to 22 mm in length so as before i have mentioned that the bud size should be 17 to 22 mm in length here we have to reject the opened buds the so already the buds which have been opened that should be eliminated so while selecting the buds the size of the sepal is equal to the size of the petal is ideal for the anther culture technique after selecting the unopened buds then transfer the buds into the sterilized airtight plastic bags then transfer the selected buds to the laminar airflow chamber so this laminar airflow chamber is a sterilization chamber so here with the help of laminar airflow chamber the microbes which are present over the unopened bird should be eliminated out so after that the surface sterilization of st uh, surface sterilization of bird is carried out in the chamber to maintain aseptic condition firstly the buds are surface sterilized by 70% ethanol for 10 seconds and then 20% of sodium hypochlorite for 10 minutes then wash the buds three times with distilled water after washing transfer the buds to the sterilized petri plate then with the help of this scalpel separate the stamens from the bud remove the filaments from the anther so after that transfer an anther onto a solid or liquid nutrient media and incubate it for 3 to 4 weeks at 24 to 28 degree celsius in the dark it means that here so after separation of the stamens it should be given some required nutrient media either it may be a solid or a liquid for about 3 to 4 weeks at about 24 to 28 degree celsius in the dark so then in, either by embryogenesis and organogenesis haploid plantlets would appear from the anther culture 3 to 4 weeks during this stage incubate the culture at 24 to 28 degree celsius for about 12 to 18 hours in light and for 6 to 12 hours in the dark so at last about 50 mm tall plantlets appear which then transfer into the pot containing biocompost followed by washing then a sterilized glass beaker is used to cover the pot and remove the glass beaker after some weeks and transfer the plant to the large pot so this is about the procedure in this uh, diagram you can see that the different steps so uh, individually you can see the different steps of anther culture technique so here first you can see the selection process then after that you can see the laminar airflow which is nothing but this sterilization after that we have after that you can see the surface sterilization process then followed by washing with distilled water then transfer to the sterilized petri plates then removal of the filaments from the anther and the anthers are uh, placed over the nutrient media then you can see the appearance of callus and at finally you can see the transfer of the plantlet into a new pot so this is about the technique or the procedure of anther culture so next we will move to the factors influencing the anther culture so few factors which influence the anther culture are listed here the first factor is the anther wall so as we know that it is a nutri a nourishment layer so anther wall is a nourishment layer that develop stages of the anther the stage of stage of anther for anther culture pre mitotic mitotic and post mitotic stage of an anther is preferred pre mitotic is a stage when the first meiotic division occurs in the anther and where the pollens are at a immature stage in the mitotic stage of an anther there is a division of the pollen the post mitotic stage is the bio bicellular stage where development in pollen grains occur to form the embryos and here the bud size also influence the anther culture so the anther prefers the size of the bud up to 17 to 20 mm in length so before we, before itself we have discussed about it and even the age of the plant also influences the anther culture so these are few of the intrinsic factors so let us discuss about some extrinsic factors the extrinsic factors like culture media in the cultural media sucrose iron vitamin coconut milk hormones and growth regulators 
play an essential role in the induction of haploid plants and also temperature it varies with the different plant species for example in the thura the op the optimum temperature is about 20 degree celsius for the formation of embryoids in nicotina tobacco the optimum temperature is 25 degree celsius for formation of embryoid so same like that it differs from species to species then the role of activated charcoal so the role of activated charcoal is also a main factor which influences the anther culture and also pre treatment method so pre treatment method for the anther culture of the bud is also suitable for the production of embryoids for example in nicotian tobacco the bud is pre treated at a temperature of 5 degrees celsius for 72 hours pre treatment in the sense before taking the explant for the uh, technique of anther culture it is treated with some temperature for about some hours which is nothing but the pre treatment next we will move to the applications of anther culture so here the first application is haploid production so the major application of anther culture is the production of haploid plants it takes much time to produce haploid plants by con conventional breeding methods as pollens are the haploid plants developed from these are homozygous and next move to the protoplast isolation which is used for the protoplast isolation has been single pollens are available then like transformation which is used in the transgenic plants formation it can be done with a less time consumption and the last one is a crop improvement in in vitro anther culture is used for improvement in vegetables and cereal crops for example asparagus sweet pepper watermelon cabbage broccoli wheat etc so next we will move to the advantages of anther culture so here you can see that it is a simple process less time consuming large number of haploids can be produced in less time and responsive most of the anthers used in the cul culture respond anther cultures avoids the risk of callus formation from the anther walls study of genetic recombination in higher plants study of mode of differentiation from single cell to the whole organism study of factor controlling pollen embryogenesis of higher plants so some of these are the advantages of anther culture so same like that it also have some disadvantages it requires skill to remove the anther without causing damage so not much successful in case of cereal crops so in the cereal crops the anther culture process shows a not Uh, a much successfulness it means that it is very difficult to undergo anther culture process in the cereals so these are the few disadvantages of anther culture so finally you can see how the pollen culture can be takes place pollen culture in the sense it is a haploid culture so here there is a diagrammatic representation how the technique can be uh, or how the uh, steps can be involved how the steps are involved in the technique of pollen culture as as it is same as a anther culture thank you